everyone, welcome to Stamp Affair. Uh, my card remake today um, was one I couldn't resist, but just basically because of the colors that was used that were used on the original. And I did my best to replicate and choose those same colors um, without knowing exactly what they were. And basically all I did was step up the card a bit and added layering. Layering is something that I love to do. Um, and so I, I thought I'd show you a little bit about how you can add layering to your, your one-dimensional cards. So first thing that we are going to start with is um, a card base using Winter Wisteria. And then... I've gone ahead and cut white cardstock slightly smaller than that layer, than the card base. And so there we've got our second layer. And then I've gone ahead and cut a block of spring rain polka dot slightly smaller than the white so that we've, we're building upwards. So now we've got three layers and I'm just going to adhere these together and, and we will build up from that point. Alright, so I've adhered my layers. And then, for fun, I always like to add machine stitching. And so I've gone ahead and added stitching around my edges. Um, something you can add or something that you can choose to leave out. I just love the texture that it brings and the, the feel that stitching adds. And then I'm going to add a strip of Aqua Mist Saddle Stitch Ribbon right across the top. And it's going to be another layer that is added to the original card. Okay, so I've got my ribbon tied across the top, and the next step will be to add our focal point. So I've used the, as, as in the original, Limitless Layers 1 and 3 quarter inch circle dies. My bottom layer was cut using plum pudding, and then the original card didn't have a center, um, a contrasting color in the center. So I decided I would just add that, and, and I like how it looks just adding one more layer. So we'll go ahead and adhere these. Right. There is our focal point. Another reason I chose the, the sweet card that is the original is I just love the stamp set she used. Um, she used two of my favorites and, um, and once again she chose colors that I I normally don't gravitate to. I kind of tend to stay in my comfort zone. So this pushed me out of my comfort zone a little bit and I'm, I'm really glad I chose to use it. Okay, then what we're going to do um, using the Heart to Heart number 10 stamp set and dies. Cut two butterflies. The large butterfly is stamped using Spring Rain and uh, Limeade Ice and the smaller butterfly is stamped using Lavender Moon and Limeade Ice. And we're just going to go adhere and adhere those on a diagonal just as in the original. I thought the placement was just great on those. So, Okay, so we've got those adhered there. And then I think the next thing I'll do is go ahead and stamp the sentiment. You know, I always mess up on this. I, I should always add my sentiment first just in case if I mess it up I don't have to redo the whole card but that is just not in my way of thinking. I, I sometimes or all the time add it last and therefore if I mess up then I've kind of got to rethink the direction of my card. So anyway we will go ahead and add our sentiment. It comes from the Mini Bloom stamp set and I'm going to stamp it in plum pudding so that it will stand out here at the bottom. And thankfully I didn't get it crooked or smudged so it, it's working just great. Alright, then as in the original card she used the Mini Bloom stamp set and such such pretty colors so um, I've used that stamp set and dies and I've stamped using Plum Pudding and Lavender Moon and Aqua Mist. I noticed that she had thrown that in for a great contrasting color and then some, some Limeade Ice. So go ahead and die cut your um, flowers out of white cardstock and stamp them and then we'll just go ahead and arrange them on our card. 
Okay, so I've got my flowers arranged, and I love how, how it frames in this, this focal point for us. Um, another thing I did to add dimension was just to bring the wings of the butterflies upwards, bend them upwards. And that added, added some interest there. And then I added a button instead of a stamped heart to the center of the butterfly. And then I would say the last thing that I added, just to add a little bit of balance to the card, was to kind of carry the, the theme of these flowers, framing in things by carrying some of them down here opposite um, where they were placed on the upper portion of the card. So, just kind of a little repetition. And that's it. The card is done. It has been remade. And I'm so grateful for the inspiration that the original provided me with. Thanks so much. Hope you're having a great day.